Hi, welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine with another journal. I made this one using a hardcover book and I've got three stitched signatures as you can see here on the spine. It measures nine and a half inches high by six inches across and it's two and a half inches at the spine. I have a, just a simple ribbon closure on here and I didn't do much to the front cover. Uh, this is floral theme, but I didn't add anything else, so whoever gets this can customize it as they wish. I'm going to be listing this in my Etsy shop, so I'm going to go through it uh, to show some of the details inside. On the side, I embellished it with a flower that I made, and there's a little paper clip placeholder that you can slide in here and it's made to be used inside of your journal. I've got some little dangling beads on here, a little key, a little heart, and a bead. This is from a, an old vintage necklace. So I'm going to just tuck this back in here for now and let's open the journal. On the inside I've got some ribbon tabs and each of the tabs has little charms. There's a little bear. I don't know if you can see that. Butterfly, a bottle opener, a horse, a hand, and a little heart. So as you can see there's no like real theme to this. It can be used for just about anything, although the images in the book are flowers. So I guess it is floral theme, but uh, it could be used for, for any type of journal. And here I used an envelope to make this pocket, and I've got a little library card pull out. And here this book belongs to, so you can put a name in there. And here's the first signature. I've got a pocket and image of flowers and here's some tea dyed paper and here I just attached some pictures of flowers to some design paper and you can write on their journal on the front or back. I've got a doily and you can tuck something in there, another type of paper and here I just have some plain sheets with um, with some designs on it, but this is uh, scrapbook paper. You could put some photos on there and journal on the back. Keep in mind that some of these papers are not acid free, so you might want to print out your photos before inserting them in here. And here's some more papers, and this is a parchment type paper. There's lots and lots of room for journaling and you can add some mementos in there. Here's an envelope, you can tuck something in there. Lots of pretty images of flowers. There's the other section of the doily. And another pocket and some beautiful tags. And here I've got a little envelope and that tucks behind here, a little butterfly. So the rest of the pages are constructed the same, it's just a variety of design papers and floral images. So I'll just take you to through it quickly.
There's tons of space in here, as you can see. I will include a link to my Etsy shop if anybody is interested in purchasing this journal. Have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye!